<clears throat> well, it's Cup third round day, and we're facing non-league opposition again. And then we've got Dragon in the next game after that. So let's see if we can have as good a, an episode as we did last time. 17 goals would be nice again, wouldn't it? Okay, we're away to ASFAP. It's pretty much an entirely reserve side. Um, kind of hoping that Baba Tunde learns how to do a goal kick because he has had one or two moments uh, in the last game he played. Despite the fact he's specifically told to kick it to his full backs, he seems to refuse. Uh, but, I mean, we should be more than capable of dealing with this lot. We're in our red kit again, which always worries me. We never seem to play quite so well in the red. But, um, we'll show you the league table after this, uh, this cup game. As things are going quite well. Well, it's not quite the same... Uh, destruction as last time is it I mean we're dominating them we're getting lots of shots away but we're just not scoring and that worries me because when we don't score we suddenly have that five minutes where we just suddenly go switch off and <clears throat> concede a goal <sighs> look just because they're the army and the police doesn't mean you need to be scared of them and they have literally done nothing. Right, I am not happy with your performance. Sort your lives out. Ooh, had lots of shots, boss. Have you scored? No. Right, let's go attacking. Demand more. I mean, this is sublime to ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, 13 nil against one team. This lot, we cannot seem to score, apparently. We're not even getting highlights, is it? I mean, it's not like we're boring you with uh, endless highlights of us missing. Just nothing. He looked offside. Oh, great. Well, wow. skim the top of the bar. Magnificent. Brilliant. embarrassing yourselves bad lads and you're annoying me Jeez. <sighs> you actually gonna get taken to extra time by this load of rubbish This is what happens when Boris isn't on the pitch. There's no one bothers scoring. <sighs> right. I am absolutely disgusted with you. Because all these shots mean absolutely naff all if that's still showing a nice round circular, circular number. Don't you dare let them get a goal. It might be a case that none of you ever play for this club again if you lose this one. I mean, you spent the entire pre-season destroying second division sides, which this not aren't, aren't even at the level of. And you are threatening to lose to them. Go on, Rostan. Come on. We've got three. Oh, how do you miss pro that? Oh my god, I could have played that pass. I'm rubbish.
110 minutes to score against this lot. It's not good enough. This is why we won't win the league. Because you don't score enough goals from the chances you create. Looks like we do need Boris on the pitch then, doesn't it? Far from impressed. And you are going to get told that at the end of the match. Well, that was a let off. See? And you know it. You know it. Because otherwise you'd be all... Me, 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 me. Huh. Right. You've been told. <sighs> right, let's have a quick look at the league table. Cheer ourselves up a bit. As you can see, second place, five points back from Callan Yeonde with two games in hand. So we could go top if we win those two games in hand. I still hate the fixture list in this league. It's all over the place. And... I mean, look at, look at this schedule here. It's just Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday. It's all over the place. I mean, that, apparently, I mean, that should get rescheduled, I hope, because having to play a way to top of the table Canon Yehunday one day after a cup game would be a bit much, wouldn't it? Um, <clears throat> but anyway, let's get on and play Dragon. Back to the league. Um... We are no longer second, but we do have three games in hand on the two teams above us. Um, Dragon are bottom. I don't think they've won all season. Um, so, I'm nervous. Because this is the sort of team that we put in our worst performances against. Right, let's go attacking. Next match only. Um... Actually, no, let's, let's just put that back at that and then we'll switch it in the match. Uh, it should be the first choice boys back in again. Uh, so I'm hoping, I mean, the last game, I know they have a little bit of lack of match sharpness, but they are a bad side. We should not have gone to extra time. But... It's done. Um, we've been drawn away to second division opposition in the next round. Uh, so um, we'll see how that goes and we'll see which rotation gets in for it. Uh, our continental qualification hopes are still alive. There's a long way to go in this season yet. What are you mentioning that for? Well, apparently we owe them after our last match, so... <sighs> Sounds like we did actually manage to lose to them before then. But not this season. That must have been last season. We haven't played them yet this season, I don't think. Oh, well, they got a win there, but that might well have been the cup game. Um, we were back in blue. We do seem to play better in blue. We seem to sort of forget what colour we're in when we're not playing in blue. <laughs> it's, it's quite odd. Already we're up to second. Yay! Oh, right. I was supposed to go attacking, wasn't I? Right, here we go, lads. Okay, and Gankum is back from his international duty. Um, and Bitjik got a bit of an, a knock. Oh, Boris. You absolute god. Um, <clears throat> so I've put Ngankum in, and Boris is on the bench, so he can come on if if needed. But uh, who's this? It was Zepato with a great ball through. Boris first time finished. The boy is just so good. He is so good. All right. Yes, Sombra Nana. He's got 10 assists apparently this season. He's only got one goal. 
um, which sounds bad for a forward, but then he's the deep lying forward, so he's there for more creative sort of stuff. And basically, slipping the ball through to Boris, or getting fouled so that someone, presumably Banner, could take a penalty and miss it and miss the follow up. <sighs> Don't not get the second goal, boys. You know I get nervous when you've only got a one goal lead when you dominate people. Especially as you're now just continually missing the target. Again, lots of shots, no goals. Well, one goal, admittedly, but not enough goals, put it that way. We really should bury people a lot more than we do, Banner. <laughs> oh dear, scores that. Can't score a penalty. Although we did score two the other day. But, I mean, this this was a good hit. Boris with the assist. Yeah, keeper probably could have done a little better with that. But, 2-0 up. I'll take that. Right. I am just hoping for continental football next season. Um, I know we we qualified for it obviously in that last season in Q8 and I left before we got to play it because it was going to be such a long drag he was offside wasn't he I mean yes I was going to say he was offside again let's not boys let's, let's not slacken off this is when you go pedal to the metal, destroy people. Get that goal difference up. Make them know you're better than them. This is not a time to let them start getting chances left, right and centre. Oh, how are you not that... How did you not get to that first? I don't understand how you get beaten to that ball. Right, we're going to drop this back to positive and I'm actually going to demand more of you lot. Because once again, you're guilty of letting a team back into a game. You did that in the last league game, which admittedly we won 4-1. But for the last 20 minutes, rubbish. One of those hits the woodwork. Right, and Gankham's not playing all that well and he's on a booking so we will bring Bitchick on now I think that's probably the only change we really want to be making and Gankum is still of course learning that position Boris plays it through as Sombaronana gets his second of the season <sighs> now I can relax a little bit because I don't even trust us with a two goal lead at the moment I don't trust any team I ever manage with a two goal lead at almost any point during the game. I've seen them thrown away so late before. Oh, there are four away fans at this game. Oh, well, I hope we made them feel welcome. Oh, there goes our best centre back. Right, undo up. On you come. Let's hope that's not a long one. Well, 3 0, comfortable. We stay second. Yeah, don't get complacent. Because you have a big problem with complacency, I think, boys. Okay. See, their goal difference is superior to ours, but with a couple of wins, we can probably get close to that if we have a couple of good wins. That game against them is going to be huge. Hugely important. Right. Oh dear. Oh, that is not good. Well, he's done then, isn't he? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I've just seen that um, my assistant manager prefers uh, Boris Camden to Erling Haaland. Honestly, I think at this level. I'd rather have Holland because he would utterly destroy this division. 
I mean, Boris has got 14 goals and 5 assists in 15 appearances in the in the league. And he's still averaging over an 8. But, um, yeah, well, let's, let's give him a bit of praise. Well done. And he's going to get a goal bonus, which is fine by me. I mean, it's 110 euros. I don't think we're too bothered by that. So, anyway. Um, okay, they have moved. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look at that. Again, with the fixture list. What is this? Six straight away games. Are you kidding me? Do they not know about, you know, home and away alternate a bit? Because then, look at that. Then we get four straight home games there. Oh, it's just plain weird. <clears throat> um, right, well, we probably won't do the cup game there because it's just too close. Um, so I think what we'll probably come back for... Hmm... Now, I suppose it's probably long enough away. Uh, we'll come back for the game against Cannon, and we'll play Panther as well. And then I would imagine after that, it will probably be the last couple of games of the season when we play Avion, who we opened the season against. So this is a very, very odd fixture list. It really is weird. Um, and, of course... Then Cannon, and hopefully we'll still be there or thereabouts around that sort of time. Um, but yeah, we will see if we can keep the challenge going. But uh, I mean, that was two decent enough wins on paper, if you just look at them. But a little bit disappointing every now and then. <laughs> I, I obviously set myself very high standards at this team. I know how good we can be, and it disappoints me when we don't reach that. But um, hey ho! Um, so yeah, we will be back for our trip to Yaounde, off to the capital, to face the cannons. <clears throat> so thank you for joining me. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.